Hey guys, Adam from Equipped Indoor. Now, when we do our gear test and review, a lot of times we have to take our gear out, try to do a very condensed field test and push in as much time testing and reviewing to bring you guys a video. But today I thought I'd talk about a piece of gear that I use you know, almost every day, and that is my Merrill Moab hiking shoes. Uh, and this is gonna be a very thorough review because I've already worked through, uh, this is actually my second pair here. I threw away my first one. This is my third pair, and I'm getting ready to order my fourth pair. Uh, these uh, hiking shoes, I think, are probably one of the best um, shoes out there to date in regards to comfort, uh, how versatile they are. I've used these winter, summer. I've run in these. I've PT'd in these. I can't tell you how many miles I've actually ran in this specific shoe. And it's a comfort. It's durability. I mean, if you look at these guys, these look pretty, I mean, they're not totally destroyed. Uh, you can tell definitely that they are, they are uh, used. I'm starting to wear down in some of the, the Vibram heel here, uh, but an awesome, awesome hiking shoe. Uh, price is right too. Uh, I wear a size 13, so you know, a little bit expensive than somebody with some smaller sizes, but these on Amazon for about a hundred bucks. I think the most I've ever spent on a pair of these at my local uh, hiking store was probably maybe 115, 120 at the max. Um, but I'm actually gonna be putting in a uh, order today for another pair. These are the granite color, I think. Uh, very similar color uh, for the last ones. I think the, these had a yellow and these are red. Uh, but all in all, a great shoe. And some of the features with it, of course, you know, I should have replaced this with 5D fire cord. I haven't done it, but you got a little loop here. So if you wanna leave them uh, not quite super tight. I like, you know, my shoe relatively tight, but it takes some effort if I want to slip it on and off without untying it. When I get a fresh pair though, I usually untie them and tie them every time. I'm not lazy, but by the time, you know, they're broken in and you put a couple miles on them, you can kind of slip them on and slip them off without ne necessarily tying them, which is the case here. These have kind of become my, you know, work, you know, destroy shoes. You can see there's paint on them and, stuff and whatnot. Um, but like I said, I've gone through three pair of these. I usually always keep one extra pair once I move on to my new ones, just in case, you know, they're com they're still comfortable. They're not suitable to start walking and running in for long distances. Um, I wouldn't necessarily buy these shoes to be a workout shoe. Uh, it just, at the time, um, I was working out and not bringing an extra pair. And I just bought a pair of these and a pair of running shoes that were specifically for running. And so part of my cross training I was doing running for short distances, you know, like running for 10, 15 minutes for warm up, and then going and working out. And these, you know, serve that purpose for hiking and stuff like that, backpacking, they work as well. Now they're not that, you know, as you guys can see, they, they are a shoe size, but very thick, very cushioned, some slight uh, support right here. There's some rigidness there. So this isn't, you know, at all like a normal floppy tennis shoe. Great traction and great shock absorbing whether you're running or just you know walking on the trail. We'll take some close look at these guys real quick and uh, we'll be right back. So I, I want to go over kind of the the wear and tear for these. So these I've had for roughly nine months. You guys can see how how new they are. So these I probably had between 18 and 24 months. These actually uh, got to the point where I really needed to buy a new pair and I was just kind of you know just taking my time, as you can see, a little bit of wear out here as well. But you know, I'm rough on my shoes, and these since the time have just kind of been used, like I said, before, you know, at the house or whatever. If I'm doing a small project out working in the yard, cleaning out the garage, I'll, I'll throw these on, and that way I'm not messing up my new ones. Uh, as as wear and tear, you know, uh, with the exception of the outside, which is pretty durable, you know, these look. These are old as crap, and they still, from a from a distance, if I had them on and, and wasn't, you know, had these focused on a high definition camera, don't look that horrible, except except with the paint and you know mud splatters that are on them now. You know, did get some some wear in the heel. I think these well, these are thirteens as well, so I did get a pair that was a little bit too small for me. Uh, I I always suggest uh, going to a shoe store. You're getting your, your, your foot sized out properly. If you can, go to a store that actually videotapes you on a treadmill to help you find out the right shoe. Once you kind of know what fits for you and what your shoe should feel like when it's on, uh, you know, you can educate for yourself. But I, you won't believe, my agency just started issuing boots. And so I went with a group of guys uh, to get a pair of boots and I'm really particular about my shoes. 
and you know, I was talking to some guys like, oh, th th you know, this is too, there's too much space here in the toe or whatever for their, their work boots, which have a sneaker feel. And it's like, well, dude, you know, you might have to run in these. You actually want a little bit of space in, in the toe for your heel strike, or if you're hiking or whatever, if you're on your, on your feet for a long time, they're not like dress shoes, which you, which you want them a little bit smaller. Um, you know, it, it shocks me how many people want to cram their, their toes into their shoes and no wonder their feet hurt and they're uncomfortable. These did, uh, these did get some pretty good wear and tear. Uh, they will be recycled out of service here soon when I get my new pair. Uh, but these guys, you know, like I said before, you know, probably nine months old. I probably could check my uh, Amazon account, but I got the exact same one. And it's funny, uh, one of the lieutenants I work with has the exact same one too, and he's on his second or third pair. Anything walking downtown or out working or you know uh, going out and doing some recreation outside, he's an outdoor guy as well. So all in all, the aesthetic looks good. It looks good with a pair of jeans. It looks good with a pair of khakis. You can wear it in a you know semi-professional atmosphere or, or a uh, business casual type look with a pair of cargo pants or something like that. I, I probably wouldn't put them with like a dress pair of khakis and a polo, but I wear this. I wear these shoes at work in a plain coast capacity. Um, and like I said before, in regards to however you're gonna use them, be it uh, you know, working out actively or uh, you know, on the trail on a recreational basis or day-to-day -day walking in the city, they are very, very comfortable and very durable. They do have a waterproof uh, model. These were waterproof, as you guys can see right here, how the, the tongue is connected to the shoe. So as long as you're not getting too deep, you'll be all right. Uh, there's no drain ports or anything like that, so this isn't going to be like a jungle type shoe. This is definitely something for like eastern woodland type area. Very thick heel for your strike and your walk. And then of course there's, I don't think there's a shank in here at all. Maybe, I don't think so. It's pretty flexible for the most part. It might not be the best thing for hiking if you're hiking distances with weight. Uh, but if you're doing some day hikes or some outdoor adventuring, they're gonna they're do fine and they breathe they're breathable i mean these are these are vented so your foot's not going to sweat in them too much but at the same time you throw in a, in a good pair of alpaca or wool socks or something like that you're not going to freeze your your butt off in the winter as well i have wore these for you know slight travel uh during snowy conditions as well and uh they did fine in regards to that so no issue no issue there awesome shoes guys just want to push that out probably my favorite one I do get some questions about foot gear every now and then and the Merrill, I have had several pairs. Like I said before, this is my third pair of just this specific style. I have some uh, Merrill boots as well that I've used for, for years and I've had other models of Merrills that I have as well. Uh, one was a little bit lower hiking shoe um, and I, I just like the look of this one. This one was, you know, uh, fit as well. So awesome stuff, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope that helped you out. And I'm gonna leave a link below on Amazon if you're interested in picking up a pair of these. Like I said, I'll be buying another pair after this video. I'm gonna go uh, buy some. I just talked to my wife, of, you know, getting the, the okay from her to go spend some money on shoes. She can buy as many shoes as she wants. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta check that with the, uh, the budget department to make sure it's good to go. All right, guys, Adam from Equipped Door. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedandor.com. Check out the website at www.equippedandor.com. Check out the most wanted section and click there. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down on that piece of equipment. Let's us know if you want us to do a gear test and review and ultimately a giveaway. So you guys' a decision will steer the course of V2E for our gear testing future. And of course, down below, there'll be a link to uh, Amazon to pick up a pair of these if you're interested. Uh, for me, my size, they run about $99.50, I think. And of course, I'm a Prime member, so I have free shipping. So awesome. But if you get a chance to, guys, go get yourself sized and fit first because, you know, my Bates boot, I wear a 12 and a half. These, I wear a 13. So it's going to vary depending on, you know, your shoe and how you're made up. Uh, these, the sizes are a little bit bigger than some other sizes that I have. There's some other shoes that I have, they're 12 and a half, and these are definitely 13s. So, all right guys, take care, be safe. And remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.